Welcome to Liberty Today. On today's program, Senator Adelstein weighs in on Obamacare, Stacey Wallman introduces a women's conference coming this summer, and is there something lurking in the woods? All that and much more on today's Liberty Today. The issue of Obamacare seems to continue to be a, a, a topic that most of us still really don't fully comprehend, Senator. Senator Stan Adelstein was a uh, co-sponsor of a bill I introduced called the Health Care Freedom Act, which would have nullified that uh, Obamacare in South Dakota. Then in uh, uh, the following session, when the governor introduced two Senate bills uh, to lay the groundwork for Obamacare, you were in opposition to those as well. Uh, so it's fair to say we have some significant agreement on that issue. Uh, what's wrong with Obamacare, Senator? Well, I don't know. I don't think anyone even knows what it says. I remember when it was being, I studied it as a legislator, the 167 pages or whatever that contradicted each other. No one knows what it says. Well, the partly because it hasn't all been written yet. Well, no, and, and, yet. And, and, and no, whatever, whatever was written turned out to make no difference because yes. there was no conference committee between the House and the Senate. The legislative process that you and I were committed to was totally absent. So then what happened is that, now that it was passed, for, the president made a deal with a senator from Nebraska who had to resign because it's our kind of part of the world, made a deal with Nebraska to exempt Nebraska from it. I mean, yeah. what kind of deals do you make? Uh, he he said uh, on the issue of, of, of abortion insurance or something dealing with abortion, which I might have agreed with more than you do, but he, he said, he, don't worry about it, just because in the law I'll issue a, a, a presidential uh, yes. uh, proclamation. Yes. Uh, whether I would agree with it or not, I don't even know what it was, but the whole process was terribly flawed. And uh, in terms of what is the effect on South Dakota, uh, no one knows what's going to happen, uh, but certain part of, parts of that are going to be in effect, and I think we need to be realistic, uh, which I don't think our governor is, uh, with the 48,000 people that uh, now are going to, we're paying for in, in the governor's hidden tax. Well, uh, you know, you mentioned uh, the governor's reaction to the, to the uh, uh, topic of Obamacare. Uh, He'll say he is opposed to Obamacare, but yet he advanced those two Senate bills that laid the foundation for it. He applied for and received a million dollars in a grant from the federal government. He applied for and received another $5.8 million of Obamacare money. Still hasn't sent that back. So what are we to believe, Senator? You were there this year. Uh, is this governor opposed to Obamacare, or is he just behind the scenes maneuvering his way to, to help implement that? As I probably said on one of your other programs, uh, I think you'll say anything that it takes to be elected. And I don't know where he stands, uh, and, but where he stands is certainly mistaken uh, on the issue of uh, poverty level for Medicaid. And now he has a, a study committee uh, which uh, the uh, president pro tem suggested me for me to be a member, but he doesn't take members of his committees that that'll think or disagree with him. So, <laughs> so I wasn't appointed. So you're not on that committee. I'm not on that committee, but I'm going to go tomorrow. To uh, I'm going to listen to the first meeting. So you might uh, you might have disagreed with the administration and brought forward some creative thinking to, on the subject. The fact is that the way we're working today. We are. We spent fifty-nine million dollars in 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 hospitals. We had to because we're not Africa. We're not Nazi Germany, so we can't put people on the street. At least under the one part uh, with the Medicaid, we would get that back. Uh, right now, all of us that have insurance and pay for our health care, uh, and and I present all that uh, clearly. And then uh, now he talked about, well, they're talking about they're going to have this study committee and there's something called the Arkansas plan. But in order to have the Arkansas plan, you have to have a, a state um, 
a, a, a state uh, association or what they call it. State exchange. State exchange. So obviously what he's talking about we can't have because we don't have the exchange and probably shouldn't, though that's what he did with the $6 million, decided not to. It's a very, very confusing thing. It's a terrible law. Uh, and uh, I don't know what's going to become of it, especially since we have this prisoner for four more years. Well, and it looks like we could have this governor for a few more years. And, I hope not. And Obamacare is not necessarily about uh, health care. It's about control. It's about the government making those health care decisions for us. Your comment, Senator, uh, were, were certainly thoughtful because the person who is carrying the and chairing this committee this summer isn't even a cabinet member. She's one of the executive committee members uh, who no one in the Senate ever approved. So absolutely uh, not even part of the, uh, uh, the process in terms of uh, uh, consent and, and uh, uh, Appro appro approval by yes, the Senate. Yes. Interesting stuff. And it just leads me to, to ask the question, a rhetorical question, where does the governor really stand on Obamacare and what's he really doing? We're not as any more sure about that than we are about the bill itself. No. Maybe you should call and ask the governor what he really wants to do and what he's really doing with the nearly $7 million he's taken in Obamacare funds.